Hey everyone, what's up? DJ here at Top Tech Cards and Games. Today we're going to do a uh, video just about the new Mechanized Madness Structure deck for the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Um, this just came out uh, within the last week or so. It's a new structure deck. It's uh, not extremely competitively viable. It's not like some of the like Shadal deck or anything like that where you can buy three, sleeve them up, and immediately be playable on a tournament level. But it's not bad. There's some cool cards, and uh, the deck is pretty decent on its own. Um, let's move this over a tiny bit more there, just even it up a little bit. Um, we're just going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open, though. And then uh, what we're going to do after that is something I've done in the past. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a deck just out of three of the starter decks. And uh, we'll go over the list for that, some things like that. It Standard starter deck comes with a little paper play mat. And that's about it. So this one doesn't have any extra deck cards in it, which is a lot of the reason that right out of the box it's not going to make a extremely good uh, deck just out of three of them. Toss that plastic. Uh, the big new card for the deck is Machina Citadel right here. Um, if you haven't read this card, it's pretty good. It's the new boss monster for the deck. When it's in play, uh, you can destroy one of your... I don't know if it's Machine or Machina Monsters. Let's just take a look at it real quick. Machine monsters destroy it, and then all monsters your opponent controls with less than less attack than it. Um, this means that it, just by itself you're able to regeki everything that's got 3,000 or less attack effect. It's a quick effect. It can't be normal summoned, so there's a number of ways for us to cheat it into play. And uh, also, it's got another ability that's if a face-up Earth machine monster, except for Citadel, is destroyed by battle or card effect while it's in your graveyard, you can special summon it. So. Basically, we're trying to just get this guy in our graveyard, summon him back into play a couple times, and uh, use that to disrupt our opponent's plays. The next card that's new in here is uh, Machina... How do you pronounce this? Possessed Storage. When this one's normal summoned, you're able to special summon a Machina monster back from your graveyard, so you could use that to summon back Citadel. Uh, it also has the ability to bounce a Machina monster you control, as well as a Spell and Trap card on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, this will let you use it to clear out back rows if we're going for a, a play to try to kill our opponent, as well as to put Citadel into play so we can use it to nuke our opponent's board. And then if our something else dies, Possessed Storage is dark, so we're not able to return Citadel off of it. But, uh, you know, we could pop Possessed Storage and then still have our Citadel in play or anything along those lines. Next up is Machina Air Rider, or Ra Raider, excuse me. This is a uh, kind of an extender. You're able to pitch a Machina monster to special summon it from your hand. Then... While it's in play during your opponent's turn, you can target one of your machine monsters. You special summon a machine monster with a different name and an equal or lower level from your deck, and then you destroy the targeted monster. So this lets us get the pieces that we need into play so that we can build the board we want. Next up is uh, Machina Redeployment. Redeployment is a spell that lets us pitch a card to search for two cards from our deck, two Machina cards. Um, if you pitch any card, you search two Machina monsters, and if you pitch another Machina card, you can get two Machina cards, uh, but you can't get this one. And the other card that I like from the archetype in here, the other new one that's a spell, isn't a Machina spell anyway. So I don't think it's a huge difference. Unauthorized Reactivation is a really cool one, though. It lets us target one of our monsters, put a union from our deck onto it, and uh, you can't special summon that monster this turn. So this has the really cool ability of letting us attach Peacekeeper, Machine of Peacekeeper, which we'll talk about when we get to, to one of our monsters to give it a protection. And then uh, we can also get our search off of the Peacekeeper. Another new one that's pretty good is Machina Irradiator. This one's another extender. It's pretty similar to the Air Raider, except it happens during your turn. You summon it, you special one from your graveyard, and then pop one of your monsters. Machina Force is, Force is still kind of a messed up card. Is it just an extremely powerful one? Uh, and then Gear Frame and Peacekeeper are the two old staples of the deck, both really powerful cards. Um, Gear Frame's a Strato, so that's still relevant. Other cards in the structure deck, uh, one Machina Megaform. This card is actually really awesome. It's got the ability of, uh, you contribute it to summon a Machina monster from your hand or deck except Megaform. Then if a face of Machina Fortress is sent to the graveyard while it's in your graveyard, you can banish the fortress and then special summon this. I think I'm going to put one of these in my deck just because it's a really unique and powerful effect. It's something cool to dump, and it's a high enough level to bring fortress back on its own. We've got Force, Cannon, Soldier, Sniper, Defender, and Commander Covington. None of these are very good cards. Um, 
In the past, you've used cards like Force or Cannon to special summon back Fortress, but Fortress needs eight stars, and Megaform and Citadel both fill that role now, and uh, just given the construction of the starter deck, we don't really need to use Cannon as an extender to get any extra bodies on the board. We should be able to do what we need without those. Uh, a cool one that's in here is a copy of Jizakiru. This is just a kaiju, so we have the ability to break some boards. Then there's Snowplow, Birdman, Scrap Recycler, which is definitely going to go in whatever deck we make. Uh, Toon Gear, Lefty and Righty Driver, and then a couple desk block cards. These cards were clearly made with an extra deck in mind uh, for the deck, so given that there's no extra deck with it, no synchros to use, uh, definitely cards that could be awesome in the deck, but you're going to need to do some work on it and add some cards to it later in order to get good value out of those. Uh, next up we've got Machina Defense Perimeter. This card is actually pretty sick. It's got uh, some solid protection effects, but basically it just never puts us far enough ahead, I think, so I don't include it in any of the, the lists I've thought about. Um, and we're going to kind of go through building one of those now just to work through the process because I think that's pretty cool once we're done here. But I don't think that it's really a card worth playing. Machina Armored Units, I'm not going to talk about that one. Uh, two cards that I think are really sick that are in here are Iron Call and Magnet Reverse. These both let us special summon machine monsters from our graveyard. Iron Call gets a level 4 or lower machine monster, so we can use it to summon any of the little machinas. So it's not the most uh, powerful card. Uh, or we can use it to summon back tuners if we're using an extra deck. Magnet Reverse gets a machine monster that can't be normal or special summon, or I'm sorry, can't be normal summoned or set, and special summons it. So this can bring back Citadel. It's a quick play, so we're able to use it during our opponent's turn or during our battle phase to get surprise damage in. Uh, speaking of surprise damage, there is a copy of Limiter Removal in here. I think a way that you could build the deck is with Triple Limiter and just going for game. Uh, Iron Draw, Ties of the Brethren, Pot of Avarice. Causing Cyclone Supply Squad. Cyclone's really good for building an actual deck out of this. Uh, Ties, I don't think, makes much sense in the deck, though maybe I'm missing something. Iron Draw could be okay. It's if you have two machine monsters, you can draw two cards. But you have to have exactly two machine monsters. You can't have any other cards, and you can't special summon for the rest of the turn. Um, I'm sorry, you can special summon once. So I haven't tested actually with any of this stuff so definitely something that could end up in the deck is maybe some copies of iron draw to go with our turn one setups but i just don't think often enough we're putting two monsters into play and if we are i want to be able to continue putting monsters into play to otk our opponent but um this is something that is a card worth considering and i guess we'll put those to the side for making a deck as well for the traps there's machina overdrive this one's okay it lets us summon a monster from our deck by popping another one in play and it's got kind of like a zodiac combo effect where we can banish it from our bin and then shuffle some machines back in to draw a card cyber summon portal two copies of back to the front a trap trick begone nave and solemn strike uh, back to the front and solemn strike are the cards that really excite and interest me here um, if we felt strongly about overdrive we could play multiple copies and maybe play the trap trick to go with it but i just don't think it's that notable so that's the whole list for the starter deck i'm going to crack open my other two copies i actually already busted one open just so i could read the cards and uh we're going to go ahead and get started on making a deck list so i'm going to pause here we'll be back in one second while i have all the decks in front of us Okay, so I went through and opened up all the decks and uh, pulled out all the cards that I was kind of considering playing and put all the copies of all of them on the table in front of us just so we can work our way through the deck. Um, there's some stuff in here that I'm going to cut pretty quickly, uh, and I think you probably could gather that based on how I was talking in the video. I think the defense perimeter is cool, and maybe there's some combos with it that we could use, but that's getting axed just kind of straight away. Uh, the next thing we have to decide is whether we want to be a going first or going second deck. Because if we're going second, we could play something like the limiter removals and uh, the Jizakiru's and try to OTK our opponent with all our special summon cards like the Magnet Reverse and Iron Call. Um, I don't think that's powerful enough, especially with no extra deck. So I feel like if we're playing this deck, we really need to focus on being a deck that goes first and sets up with the Citadel as well as some protection for it. So looking at the cards that help us set up Citadel, Scrap Recycler, we definitely want three of those. Uh, the Possessed Storage helps us summon it back, so I don't think that's an issue to say we want three there. Additionally, Citadel itself makes it easier to get it into play, so I have the full stack of those. Gearframe searches for all of our pieces. I'm going to put that in. 
Fortress is a really powerful card. It does a lot on the board as well as uh, letting us pitch our Citadel to the graveyard. We'll play that guy. Um, I want to play a copy of Megaform to go with Fortress. It's got a lot of utility as well as the uh, level to summon it back. Peacekeeper is an interesting one because it's a really strong effect uh, when paired with unauthorized reactivation. But it's kind of a brick that we don't want to draw terribly much. I'm going to put one in for right now and we can revisit that if we want more or if we have some slots in the deck. I think I like the Air Raider as well, uh, just to read this guy again. So we special summon it. Target a machine monster, special summon a machine a monster with a different name and equal or lower level from our deck. So... Yeah. It's tough because it doesn't dump Citadel ever, but it is another way to summon it to play since Possessed Storage triggers when it's specialed. So I think we're going to play three of these anyway, just because our, our options are somewhat limited, and if we open something like a Scrap Recycler plus this, we can get our Citadel into play easy peasy. So that gives us a pretty nice stack of monsters already. Um, we can revisit extra copies of these cards down the line, and if we want, Jizikiro is always an option to give us a card to break boards. The thing that I am the least sold on not playing is Machina or Radiator. This is just another way we can kind of extend our plays and build a board, but it doesn't help us during our opponent's turn, and we have to put the things into our bin already to get use out of it. So I'm not certain that this is a card we really want to be playing, and we'll leave this over here for now as well. Given the approach that I just said we're taking, I don't think limiter removal is any good. I'm just going to nix that one right now, and we can come back to that later. Cards that I'm pretty set on playing, I think we really want these three copies of Deployment to keep ourselves consistent. We want these three copies of Unauthorized Reactivation in order to give ourselves that protection and to be able to use Peacekeeper as a search effect. Three copies of Magnet Reverse, since they're going to summon back our... Citadel, and we have the three Cyclones just as some interaction as well as a card that can be uh, pretty powerful if we're forced to go second ever. I also think I'm going to put the Iron Draws in for now. I'm not sure if they're going to make the final cut or not, but it is always an option. Um, let's look at Iron Call here and see. Iron Call doesn't summon back Citadel, so it's not really a combo in that aspect. Uh, let's Gear frame doesn't get its effect when special summon. Possessed storage does, but for that to be relevant, we have to already have a citadel in our graveyard for us to really care about that. So I'm not going to play the iron calls in this list, though it is a solid spell card. For our traps, these stand out to me as the powerful ones. If we wanted to, we could play do something like play trap trick along with uh, maybe play like a trap trick two copies of this and only play two copies of back to the front or something but i think we're getting two cues these cards are okay but they're not doing a ton and i think we're going to get the most value just by having three strikes and three back to the front so let's look at what we have here and count how many cards this is so we've got three strike three back to the front three iron draw three cyclone it's all three of so it's definitely not four oh no it's not all three of i forgot that we uh, actually put less than three of some of the monsters in three magnet reverse three reactivation, three redeployment, three copies of aerator, one peacekeeper, one megaform, three fortress, three gear frame, three citadel, three possessed storage, and three scrap recycler. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-six, twenty-nine, thirty-two. So this is forty-one cards right now. Uh, my inclination, it's a little bit awkward to play three Citadels, by the way, but just since it's the centerpiece of our deck, I wanted to have all three copies in order to uh, maximize our chance of either dumping it or drawing it and pitching it so we have it in our graveyard. Um, I guess you can make an argument for cutting the Mega Form, but that's something that I want to play with a little bit before I lock in on. Uh, we could play 41, but that's never my style. So I'm going to go ahead and just play two copies of Iron Draw for right now. Say that that is enough if the card feels better than something else, or perhaps if I find we're not having any trouble getting Citadel into our graveyard, maybe we cut the third one for the third Iron Draw, or something along those lines. Um, the other thing that we could look at doing with the list is just playing the Jizikiru's anyway, just to have some interaction. But in order to do that, we would need to cut our iron draws. That would be two. And then we'd have to find some other slot for the third one if we wanted to play all three copies. I think 
I would rather just play with the list like this for a little bit and see. I mean, this isn't going to be the most powerful deck, obviously. You're not going to have the best deck in the room by any stretch of the imagination. But it is a pretty good, you know, $30 or whatever you can get your three starter decks for brew to sleeve up. And especially if you've got someone who's new to the game, this gets into the real, you know, mechanics and workings of Yu-Gi-Oh!, it's got a lot of interesting interaction, some powerful plays in all honesty, uh, without really getting watered down in the extra deck or weighed down in it, I should say. So I think this is actually a really cool deck and something to mess with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this up, but just so you guys can see, there's the full deck list that I came up with for the three starters. I think there is uh, some variation there, so if you've got questions or ideas, let me know down below in the comments. And let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. I have a lot of fun making them. I have three Rocket Starter decks that I haven't opened still, and I kind of want to do the same thing with them. Uh, if nobody tells me they hate it, I'm going to do it. If you tell me you like it, I'm definitely going to do it even faster. But, you know, if you guys hate it, let me know. If you like it, hit the like button and tell me. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for a ton more Yu-Gi-Oh! coming soon. Thanks a ton for watching, guys.